my name is Louis and today on MakeShare we're going to be reviewing the One How Jupiter i3 uh, V2.1 desktop yes, 3D printer. Starting with print quality. The One How is an extremely good print printer uh, and, is able to, uh, and, and is able to accomplish some amazing results um, for the better tuning. Uh, this was one of the first prints I ever did on my, on my uh, printer. Um, it came out alright, I've got some, put some photos up now. Um, as you can see there are some streams and there is uh, a bit of overhang problems but that can all be sorted mostly in, in the slicer. Um, speaking of the slicer, um, uh, the slicer that I used for this particular print was the uh, one how edition of Cura. Uh, it came in the box with uh, in a included micro SD card for good, I believe. Um, and that's a nice thing that it It came to, on the SD card, there was a few ready to print files as a thumbs up and a, their logo and a rhino, I think. Maybe it was on the rhino. Um, it also came with 10 litres of filament. Speaking of fantastic results, this is a baby Groot that I printed uh, in using Hatchbox uh, PLA, uh, Woodfill, Woodfill PLA, um, and it came out pretty well. Um, there is, there, well, there was some string and there was uh, some small problems with the print uh, itself, but other than that, it came out fairly well. Um, the only massive thing in this print is you can notice some Z wobble. Um, this is what happens when the uh, two lead screws on either side aren't secure at the top, and so they just wobble around, uh, affecting the nozzle and creating artifacts like this. Um, that can be solved. I've just not not been able to solve it. Um, well, it is capable of printing some amazing results using any material that you throw at it, um, including ABS and PETG. Um, I was able to print this uh, turtle, link in the description, um, a, in both PLA and uh, wood. This, the bottom is made out of the same stuff as this, uh, hatchbox wood fill. Um, this, this is 3D Solutions. Um, uh, blue PLA. Uh, this kind of, this stuff is great and very vi uh, very vibrant. Um, as you can see, the legs and the springs came in perfectly. If you're familiar with this model, it has some built-in springs and it worked pretty well. So you are able to make some mechanical things for one how as well. Um, what else have we done? Uh, let's go to a, a downside of the one how. Um, so I, I made this using the, I used Slicer, uh, Slice 3R, if you want to call it that. Um, uh, this is the Elephant uh, MakerBot model, I believe. Uh, again, link in the description, if I don't forget. Um, and oh, because I wasn't able to use um, support, it has a few problems. Um, overall, it's a decent model, and it looks fairly good from a distance. However, the second you turn it over, and I'm going to put some pictures on now, um, you can see that the overhangs uh, have significant errors with them. Um, something I've noticed common with the Wanhao um, that I believe is down to the cooling situation, which is a blower style fan instead of a jet fan. Um, I can't, there's special words for it, but I can't remember them. Um, the blower fan is just designed to push a bit of air in a very large area, whereas a uh, jet fan is designed to push as much air as physically possible into a very specific area, which is what the process use and even the A8 uses. Um, and overall, I, I believe it's a better design. However, I see why Wanha has done this to uh, accompany the uh, sh fully sheet metal um, design, which 
uh, I'll move on to now. The entire machine from uh, x axis uh, uh, to y axis, even the uh, external box, is made out of sheet metal. Uh, the build quality is ridiculously good um, for such a low price sheet uh, printer. It's only $359, I believe, and you you are able to receive a printer that's probably one of the best made printers or the sturdiest printers that I've ever used myself. Um, and I've used things like the Up Mini 2. Um, the Wanhao Jupiter i3 v uh, V2.1 uses a MK10 style extruder to push the filaments out of the nozzle. Um, the MK10 is a great, great extruder design, however, it has a few common problems, such as the one I'm currently having, um, where if the fan isn't able to push enough uh, air onto the heatsink, the PLA effectively melts onto the motor, um, effectively rendering your motor useless and then affecting your hot end, and you have to then drill out your hot end, which is what I've had to do for the last three hours isn't so much fun however it's something that you have to live with if you're going to buy this if you're going to purchase this printer you are able to accomplish some extremely good prints with the one how uh, i printed this on slice using slicer um or sl slice three you know what i mean um using the stock prusa settings prusa i3 um this is definitely one of the best 3d prints i've ever done um I did this in 0.05mm uh, layer heights and it came out incredibly well. Um, there is no errors as far as I can see except for the bottom here which is where that was my fault I couldn't remove it from the build plate um, because of the build tack. The build tack is extremely good. Um, the printer itself comes with a pre-applied layer of build tack on its print bed. Um, it also in, in the box includes a spare sheet in case you wreck your first sheets like I did. Um, the only thing with build tech is you have to be careful while leveling the bed because if you level while hot um, you can accidentally smash the nozzle into the bed rendering the build tech useless because it just melts it. Speaking of the unboxing, when, uh, when you first unbox the one how uh, it comes in three pieces, the main assembly, the extruder, the, no, the X axis and then the Y and Z axis uh, assembly. Uh, put the X and Y, t uh, X and Y and Z as ax axis. To put the X, Y and Z axis together, all it requires is four bolts and they're all uh, 2.5 millimeter uh, hex nuts, which are extremely useful. However, the uh, one how does not in include a hex set for you to use while using it so you have to purchase one separate. So would I recommend this printer? The answer depends. It isn't, if you're a first time buyer or first time user of a 3D printer I would say do not buy this printer and I would strongly say that. The only reason I say that is because you have to know what you're doing with this printer. You have to be able to solve problems, you have to be able to maintain it and fix it when it breaks because it will break um, I would recommend this for a, as a second or maybe even third printer someone that has had experience and kind of knows what they're doing but wants to learn more because this printer is extremely good for showing you what ha, well for showing you how to fix things that you may not necessarily know how to fix but if you do then it's fine and that just about wraps up my conclusion on the one how duplicator i3 uh, personally, I think it's an amazing machine. Um, I I'm very happy with with the machine that I bought myself, um, and it works perfectly for me. Um, like I said, though, you do have to be careful when you're when you're working with it, and you uh, do have to be knowledgeable about how you use it and what it can do. Um, but if you're willing to put in the time and the effort, you can certainly come out with some amazing prints. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please like it down below, if you want to see anything in the next video comment and if you really really like this video and want to see more of my stuff, subscribe.